Hi, my name is Elivo and today I'm going to show you how I did the Sabrina Carpenter haircut. Okay, so you're going to start off with grabbing a front section. Then you are going to split that section in the middle and you're going to start cutting at about eyebrow height. And you're going to go diagonal up until the height of about your mouth. Now for the opposite side, you're going to compare the shortest pieces and cut those. And then compare the longest pieces and cut those to the matching length. And then you're going to go from short to the long and just trim until it is symmetrical to the other side. At this point I was definitely not symmetrical yet, so I keep cutting it off till it looks good. Looking back at the footage now, it's really easy to see which pieces are still too long. But when you're doing it on yourself, it's kind of a lot harder to see if you're doing okay or not. Okay, so when you're done with your bangs, you're gonna take a vertical section of your hair next to it. Then you're gonna start cutting at about the length till your shoulders. And then you go down in a diagonal, so never straight cut, because that's how you get choppy layers. Then I take a section of the opposite side and I compare the two sides to see how much I am supposed to cut off. I mark it with something and then I just start cutting it off. And then I just keep comparing the two sides until they're symmetrical. You're gonna see me do this a lot in between but that's really what helps to have even sides. Then I'm gonna take another vertical section and I take a little bit of hair that has already been cut. So I can compare to that what length I want it to be and I cut it a little bit longer than the previous part. And once again, cut in diagonals. So you start short and you go down and it becomes longer. For the opposite side, I once again compare and then cut. And then in between, I keep comparing and keep correcting it. It is best to make as many sections as possible, but at this point I got a little bit lazy. So in the end, I am still fixing some stray pieces and really comparing each side to each other to see how much I still need to cut off. It is best to get someone to look at the back of your hair to see if everything is even. I was alone at home at that time, so I tried to film it and see how I could correct it there, but obviously that's not going to be perfect. So once you're satisfied with your haircut, you can start blow drying your hair or air drying, whatever you prefer. I had to blow dry it because I was in a bit of a hurry. At this point, your haircut is not going to look great because it is unstyled. So I grab a straightener and some hair rollers. I'm gonna straighten my bangs and then put in a very small hair curler inwards. And I'm taking a section on the side and again straightening it and then putting in a bit of a bigger roller. Also going towards the face. For the back, I'm gonna take a very big roller and really making sure that I get that volume in the back so it wouldn't fall flat. And then I continue with the sides. And for this one, I had four sections made. You could also do more if you want a bit more dimension. I wouldn't do less than this because then the rollers will probably not stay in place that nicely. Then it's time to wait. It's best to keep it in as long as possible. And yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you like this. I'm really satisfied with this haircut and styling. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you want to. So yeah, <laughs> love you, Rex.